Let's talk about it. Talk about the game, the rules, and some really, really cool changes. So the biggest thing is this side of the table is different. This is the east side of the table and there is now a home area just like over there. Now they're split the same, they're the same size, so it's just mirrored. So now there are two launch areas, one over here and one over here, and that's a game changer. The first time we've seen this in first Lego League like this. Now, uh, there's a lot happening between these two areas. Your robot can launch from this area or this area, and you can have two technicians, that's two students at each spot. That's four students at the board total at a time. That is huge. Now, a couple things with this. If your robot is on one side of the table, okay, it can drive itself to the other side of the table. It can go and arrive at any launch area without penalty. Uh, it does not matter. And the technicians can interact with the robot in the home and launch area like normal in either side of the board. Now, this is my understanding of the rule book. Read your rule book, talk to local judges, talk to local referees, talk to first. This is my understanding of the rule book. If the robot arrives in this area, the students may not take the robot and hand it to the other technicians. If you're holding equipment, you're gonna lose it. If, you're, uh, if you do that, you're gonna lose a penalty puck. Now, in the rules, you can lose a penalty puck without losing any points, so eh, maybe it's a little bit of a strategy thing if you choose to do that, but I would be fully prepared to lose that penalty puck and whatever equipment your robot might be holding. So if you do try to do that, I would not dare do it while holding equipment and or attachments on your robot. All right, let's look at all the missions. Now, before I begin, this is your best friend. This is your best friend. Read it, understand it, know it. Front, back, sideways, upside down, and in reverse, right? Uh, this is your best friend. This is the robot game rule book. If you don't have a physical rule book like this, if you didn't get them with your, with your field kit, uh, or you don't have them, you can find them online on the game's website um, at firstinspires.org. Now, listen, I love this game. There's nothing too complicated about it, but let's go over all the missions. Mission one, if your robot brings the uh, little innovation model uh, that you have uh, and puts it in this circle, that is the hydrogen plant, if it's at least partially in, that's 10 points. The oil platform is a pretty cool mission, uh, and the objective is to lift up on this handle and load the oil units into the back of the truck. Uh, I got a freebie there. Uh, it's five points per oil unit loaded into the truck. Now, if the truck is moved off and uh, over here, uh, and you drive it somehow, pick it up, whatever, and it is over here, I believe that's an extra 10 points. It has to be partially in this black oval here. That's an extra 10 points. This is the energy storage unit. Uh, you get 10 points for every one of these units, uh, energy units that you put in, in here. Um, that could be an end game thing, middle of the game thing, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, but you get 10 points each. You can put three max. So you can pick those three up or you could have three from anywhere else on the board that you can put in here. Uh, you get five points if this is out as well. Now, you might as well just take this all the way home and use the energy unit for something. Uh, but you can get that and drag it, drag it home somehow. 
but that's five points for just getting it out of there. This is the solar farm. You get five points if you just move those energy units off of their circles, okay? So they're not touching at all. Now, if you get all three, you get a five point bonus. So 15 total plus the five point bonus, that's a 20 point mission. This is the smart grid mission, the hands, um, and they give each other a, kind of a high five. Um, and it's 20 points if you raise your hand up and there's a 10 point bonus for each team if both team's hands are up and the connection is completed. So that has a potential for 30 points. This is the hybrid car mission and uh, you get 10 points if the car is no longer on the ramp. So if you just kind of pull the car off the ramp, but you also get, get 10 points if the energy unit or the, the uh, hybrid battery or engine or whatever that is, that you, this unit right here is in there. So you do that by pulling up on the lever and it goes in there and slides off. That's 10 points, total of 20 points. This is the wind turbine mission and there are three energy units that are stored in the wind turbine unit. And if your robot can push this in and get the units off, I believe that is 10 points per unit. This is the television uh, mission and uh, if you can push this in uh, and the TV is up, you get 10 points. But if you push it far enough and get this and, and just the right speed, uh, this energy unit will sit on that green bar back there and that's an extra 10 points. So if the energy unit falls off, that's not an extra 10 points. It has to be sitting in this slot. So that mission has a total of 20 points. Mission, uh, mission nine is the dinosaur toy. Now this is the dinosaur toy, the toy dinosaur. It needs a battery. You get that battery from right here. Uh, you can, if you get this battery and put it in the dinosaur toy, by lifting this flap up and pushing it in there, which is easier to do with two hands than one. If the, you have that battery in here, that's 20 points. You can put an energy unit in there for 10 points, but you also get points for taking this completely over to this side. It starts on that side. If it finishes on this side, that's 10 points. Again, an energy unit inside is 10 points, and that battery that you get from right here in that circle is 20 points. This is the power plant, and it's kind of like a two action thing. So you can push this leather lever down and it'll raise the center and this, uh, this energy unit will pop out. Uh, but if you lift this up beforehand and then push that down, the other energy units fall out and uh, you have three energy units then you, you can use somewhere on the board. Now I will say that this is kind of persnickety. So some of them, I've built multiple of these, some of them act just a little bit different than others. Some of the mission models act a little bit different than others. Look at your instructions, make sure everything's okay uh, when you're tackling this mission uh, on the board. Make sure the mission model is built correctly. The hydroelectric dam is a cool one. There is a lever up here that drops that water unit and it hits something and it pulls this out and uh, just like that. So that if that scenario happens, that's 20 points. If this energy unit is no longer touching the dam, that is 20 points. Then there is the water reservoir mission right here as well. And it has to do with these water uh, units. Now, when they're set up, they're set up in different orientations. There's one right in front of the dam, which you might want to move before you actually activate that because then that would roll and you can use this later uh, for something else. Uh, maybe you can put it in that energy storage. But uh, you get five points for every energy, uh, or I'm sorry, water unit in the dam and 10 points for everyone hanging on one of the red, one of the red hooks. So there's a possible of, of 30 points, 30 points total for the water reservoir mission. And then after that, that's all the actual mission models. And there's a bunch of, except for this one, I'm going to talk about this one in a second. Then there's a bunch of things you can do with the energy units that you can collect or get, um, off of the board because there's three energy units that you can release from here. There's an energy unit that can be released from there. You got three laying there, one in that slot. Uh, you got three off the wind turbine and you got one on the TV if it falls off or you choose not to do it 
like that. Um, there's a couple different places that you can put them to earn five points per energy unit, three per space max. So there's three there, three there. Uh, you could earn uh, quite a bit of points. Plus there might be some bonuses involved. The first place is here, the same place you put your innovation project model. Put them in here, that's five points uh, energy unit at end game, uh, three max, okay? Max of three each. That's the power to X mission, mission 13. Mission 14 is the toy factory. Uh, and uh, you can put energy units in the hopper. And if an energy unit actually goes in the hopper, it releases the toy dinosaur. That's 10 points just for releasing the toy dinosaur. Five points for having it in the back here. You can put three energy, up to three energy units in here um, for a total of five points each. Um, and then you can also put them in this area right here for a total of five points each. Now they have to be completely in. The, that means that there's no part touching the line. That doesn't count, doesn't count, doesn't count, doesn't count, doesn't count. Actually, that right there counts. Counts. That definitely counts. That certainly counts. All right? So has to be completely in. Now, read your rule book. I know that that's a very, very quick overview of this game. Read your rule book. It will be your best friend know it memorize it you don't have to memorize it. that's why there's a rule book so you don't have to, i mean you're gonna memorize them by nature just by reading them you know what i mean know your rules okay know the scores know how it works now uh if you have six penalty pucks at the end of a match you get 50 points if you have five you get 50 points and then it goes down from there i think 40 30 10 uh, but listen, this game is all strategy. There's nothing real hard about it. A lot of push, pull, there's some hanging, uh, some stuff on a hook. Um, a lot of push, pull type of stuff in this game. Nothing super complex. However, this game is all strategy. You're gonna see videos from me on strategy. You're gonna see videos from me for um, uh, just kind of inspiration for solutions of some things on the board, uh, so think about that when you're tackling the game. How are you gonna use the two uh, launch areas? How, what, what are you gonna use them for? What missions do you wanna do from one side and, and the other? Um, are you gonna split it in the two and a half minutes in half and have a minute and 15 from, in seconds from each, each area? I, it's up, it's up to, it's up to you. This is all brand new. It's amazing. I love it. This game looks super fun. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna have we're gonna have a blast. I hope you have a blast. We're, we're gonna have fun. All right. Here we go. Super powered. See you guys in the next video.